In our next section, we will talk about the configuration management mechanisms. The tools and the processes network engineers have used to manage networks have not really changed in the last 25 years. For example, using tools like PuTTY or SecureCRT, a network engineer would connect to a device using SSH and perform some configuration changes or check a device status. However, with the scale of networks today, it is no longer pra practical to make these changes on a device-by-device -device basis. Network automation is fast becoming a skill network engineers ought to master. As a result of using developers' tools for many years, network engineers are seeing the benefit of these tools for performing network administration and configuration tasks. Now, we are going to review the top three network automation tools used in today. And they are Puppet, Chef, and the Ansible. Puppet, Chef, and Ansible are three different tools that represent different paths to achieve a common goal of uh, managing a large-scale infrastructure efficiently with minimal input from the developers and system and network administrators. All three configuration management tools are designed to reduce the complexity of configuring distributed infrastructure resources, enabling speed and ensuring reliability and compliance. Okay, let's start with the Ansible. Ansible deserves its place at the top of the list of network automation tools in use today. Ansible is written in Python and was previously developed to automate the management of Linux servers, but is now capable of automating most of network tasks. The software remains open source and as such is free to use. There is also a strong community providing good support for Ansible guys. For corporate users who require a more formal support module, there is Ansible Engine which is a fully supported version of Ansible. Both products are driven from the command line interface. Finally, there is Ansible Tower, the company's GUI management tool a licensed product based on the number of devices being managed. Ansible uses the concept of a playbook which in which you define a list of tasks consisting of uh, small items of configuration such as the creations of VLANs or defining the interfaces and etc. The playbook file is written in YAML, which is very human readable and also uses Jinja2 for writing templates. Ansible works on a push methodology. You define what you want to do and push it to the nodes, and that's it. Ansible will confirm if changes actually needed to be made by verifying if the code is in place already. If so, it will skip that task. This is referred to as uh, idempotency. Only making changes when they are actually required. If the playbook determines a change does not need to be made, it will skip that task. The main reason Ansible is such a great tool for network automation is that it is agentless, meaning that to manage any network device, you only require SSH access. That it, this is its main advantage over tools we will look at uh, on our uh, next slides like Puppet or Chef, which require an agent to be installed. This is very easy on a Linux server, but not as simple as on network devices. Let's go ahead with Chef. 
Chef is another popular tool for network automation guys and uh, the setup is uh, a little more involved than Ansible. For one, uh, there is a master server and agents are installed on managed nodes. A Chef installation also needs a workstation to control the master. Once an agent has been installed on the managed device, the nodes authenticate the, to the master with the uh, use of certificates. Additionally, Chef is written in Ruby, so you should ideally uh, also come with basic knowledge of Ruby. As the name suggests, Chef utilizes a cooking dem and receipts instead of tasks. However, to use Chef for network automation, you still need to get an agent onto your target device. Puppet is another open source automation tool that was initially used for managing Linux servers, but is also gaining popularity in the network automation world. As with Chef, uh, it requires an agent to be installed on the target device. Puppet uses its own configuration language, which is completely proprietary, making Puppet more complex to learn than Ansible or Chef. Puppet devices periodically pull their conf configuration from the Puppet Master server. This differs from Ansible in which it is a purely push model. You can define a standard build and ensure the target devices maintain that uh, build by checking into the with the Puppet Master server.